Once upon a time, in an age not yet come to pass, a true technological miracle was discovered by future generations. Thousands of people banded together in tribes and factions when they first found what we now call the Arcs. Like parallel universes, there are many of them. Many seem the same, but they're not the same at all. A completely artificial little world in thousands of versions, waiting to be discovered. If you can survive, that is. This is my arc. There are many like it, but this one? This one is mine. Yes, the Manticore. Oh, and the dragon. Did I forget to mention those? Well, yeah, if I did, that's probably because they shouldn't be a part of the story, T-Def. <sighs> I'm sorry. It's been a bit of a rough day today. Actually, the past days all have been a little rough. How much time has passed? <sighs> a while, I guess. I did, however, find this gadget in my implant. It's basically like a recorder for both video and audio, I guess. I get to star in my very own, personal, self-made found footage horror movie. Isn't life just the greatest? I'll just keep this running so I got a preservation method for the good times. And even the not so good ones. Uh, sensationalism sells, right? Anyway, as my new friend of Tidev told me that this virtual paradise was going to be my new home for a while, it occurred to me. Wasn't this the ultimate survival challenge setting? Lost and alone in a strange and alien world with nothing but a stupid, disembodied voice to guide me on my way home? This little universe of wonders turned one hour in real time into a complete day-night cycle over here in this virtual reality. So a two-day mini-vacation became a vacation of, well, a lot of days. Bang for your buck and all that, right? What an opportunity this was! But then again, what kind of opportunity was this, really? Soon I had learned how to build a little, and while I was fairly new at this, I also managed to make a not very sturdy fire. I couldn't roast the potatoes I had found earlier, and I was getting really, really tired of berries, so I needed something else to eat. Uh, hey T-Def, check it out! This poor thing has been stuck in between these trees ever since I arrived. I should really hack these things out of the way so it can run free again. Uh, I think you should keep it stuck and kill it, to be honest. What? No, absolutely not. The poor thing can't even defend itself. I mean, it's, it's stuck. Time for you to start practicing your aim, then. No time like the present, right? Oh, come on, don't make me do this. My stomach, however, decided to join the battle between freedom for the stuck creature and a filling a bite virtual meal. Okay, come on, you can do this. Just aim, hold back, now! Ah, oh god, oh no, no, I am so sorry. Here, did that second arrow do anything to make you feel better? No? Well, how about a third one then? Or a fourth? I did that. I did that all by myself. Normally, I'd be sad and likely shocked at what came next, but TDF was right. If I was to stay here, I needed to learn to survive for virtual real, I guess. Yeah, that's a word now. As I set to work gutting and skinning the Gallimimus, I played away some of the skin. And the thick hide of these dinos would prove useful in the future. There, that wasn't so bad, was it? Now how about we get you some help? I thought I needed to slay the dragon and the manticore first? Well, yes, but you don't have to do it alone. That's good news, right? Then why do you make it sound suspiciously like it's not good news? What? No, no. Uh, it's really easy. Find a... Uh, find a dodo for me, would you? Okay, cool. See him while around there? Uh, yeah. Okay, then. Punch it! What? Punch it! Again! And again! Yes, give the bird hell! Right on the knocking! Left jab, right jab! Now show me that underhook!
Now feed it quickly. Uh, uh okay. Uh, what 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 do dodos eat? Bananas? Pizza? I don't think they deliver all this way out to be our headquarters. Just give it some of those berries you collected earlier. What? Really? I'm supposed to name it? Of course, it's yours! Alright now, let's try something different. Meep, do you like horses? I love horses. I think I may have a little surprise for you. Grab these berries and follow my voice. Hey, that bird is following us. I mean me. It's following me. That's what taming is. This is your bird now. It will follow and protect you. Protect me? That thing? That thing outweighs you by, excuse the pun, virtually 60 pounds and has a beak you don't want to mess with when you're something equally small, like, say, a little human. Look, I'm sorry. I, I should really thank you for your help. It's just, I'm exhausted. This wasn't the plan exactly, you know? I just, I really need some sleep. So, this dodo is gonna stand guard? No worries. Your dodo will attack anything trying to mess with it. Or you. So while it alone might not win a fight, it can give you some support and protection. An early warning system at the very least. Before you can go to sleep though, I think it's really important we do one more thing first. <sighs> Are we gonna play horse now? Not exactly. It's more a thing of you playing with a horse for a while. Okay, now that we found some horses, pick one. Chalk at it, but don't run. Once you've reached it, you shove a berry in the horse's mouth. Jump on its back like you mean it, stuff another berry down its throat, and then you just hang on for dear life and feed it when it needs a calming berry. Yeah, sure, that sounds simple enough. Not a problem, Super Meep at your service. <sighs> Hey, hey, how's it going there? Would, would you like something to eat? Good horse. Wait, no! No, please let me up. Please. I. I could really use a friend. That night, I returned to my first meal of dino meat. I had successfully made my first kill, and I had tamed, well, if nothing else, another companion. Plus, now that I had a horse, that really did feel like a bit of help. 